Video seven, primary prevention in action. In previous videos, we talked about violence, who commits it and what drives it. But how do we stop it from happening in the first place? Taking a primary prevention approach can help us stop violence before it starts. In the next two videos, we'll share six actions and some prevention principles you can use in your work to stop the drivers of violence and check your approach. Six actions to prevent violence. Six broad and essential actions can help us stop violence against women and girls with disabilities. Let's break them down and see how we can use them in our workplaces and communities. Action one is all about changing environments that allow violence to happen. This means making sure our policies and practices are fair, reflect the needs and experiences of women with disabilities and respect everyone's rights. We also need to keep track of our progress and hold ourselves accountable. Action two is about challenging the idea that violence against women and girls with disabilities is normal. We can do this by educating ourselves and others about violence, making sure women are believed and supported, and trying to change discriminatory policies and attitudes, like controlling sexual reproductive laws. Action three focuses on challenging stereotypes about disability and gender by promoting the talents of women with disabilities, making sure they're represented positively in the media and workplace, and creating inclusive spaces where people with and without disabilities can work together and call out negative stereotypes. Action four is about including women and girls with disabilities in everything we do. We need to make sure they have equal access to opportunities and resources by creating accessible spaces, providing long-term resources and support, and removing barriers and segregation. Action five is about giving women and girls with disability more independence and decision-making power. We should involve them in making decisions and laws that affect their lives, challenge negative attitudes that limit independence, and provide them with the support and resources they need to succeed and lead. Action six is about getting men and boys to challenge aggressive and controlling forms of masculinity. We can do this by teaching them how negative stereotypes about gender and masculinity can lead to violence, encourage positive male cultures that challenge how we justify violence, ableism and gender inequality, and promote healthier ways of thinking about masculinity based on equality and respect. Together, these actions can help us prevent violence against women and girls with disabilities. In the next video, we'll go over a list to help us put these actions into practice.